Hello Mr. Randy Duck and welcome back for another video. Today I have something a little bit different. I've got two videos in tier 10 German Tetri tank destroyers. One being the J-Group E100, one being the Waffle E100. And these two games, they're not the biggest games I've had in the tanks. It's more about um, a bit of sort of team play sort of element. And yeah, it was just sort of a fun game to be in. Now, first off, this J-Group E100, you know, I've only recently caught this tank, surprisingly. Kind of got a love-hate relationship with it, really, because it can be frustrating to play, because you're slow, takes you any, a long time to get anywhere. Sometimes games can just get ahead of you because of that reason. And you have to sort of be a bit patient as well, because although you would think the tank's got a lot of armour, in, in reality is, you know, your superstructure is very easy to pen with heat shells. So... Lots of tanks just load heat and go through the tank. Um, but having said that, sometimes it can be incredibly fun, funny to play because you've got that massive sort of 1050 alpha gun. And then this tank, as you can see by my filthy loadout there, has 420 heat pen. And I just feel like with this tank, you've already kind of, you know, you're already, you're already an awkward tank to play. And then the kind of the fun part about it is it has that disgusting heat pen, which I think is like the highest in the game. So you can literally just go through like the side of I-7's like turret with that. You know, it's, it's filthy. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a love-hate relationship. But here we are on the first replay. Thankfully, there's no artillery in the game. Uh, we've tuned up with Mickey in a uh, Ruthless here and Swindle in a uh, Valor. And we're just going to... Just try and push in to get into position to see if we can get any early shots into the game and just see what we can do. We don't want to go right in. You know, we want to just see if we can try and cover a little bit. Straight away, this enemy uh, S-Barn FE comes around and misses a shot and we slap him there for 960 um, damage. We do actually low roll quite a lot on, on that tank, but thankfully we don't take any damage and we started the game well with a kill. No, sorry, with a kill? Uh, with a shot of damage. So and immediately, I can sort of see, you know, we haven't got a lot of stuff defending the right-hand side of the map. Um, but I'm not overly concerned about that at this moment because the tanks which push around the right often sort of win that side and they, they take a while to actually push across. But Mickey and his Ruthless is sort of saying, I need a bit of help here. So I'm going to pop around and see if we can get any shots in and cover them. They've got an enemy, uh, Lehman Rust, which normally can be a difficult tank to pen. But with 420 heat, I'm just going to go straight through that uh, tank. And we do manage to land a big shot, putting us up to just over 2,000 damage. Uh, but right here, I don't know if we almost make a mistake. Because Swindle comes down to help as well, to, to shoot the right-hand side. But when that happens, pretty much the second he leaves, we just start really losing on this other side. Enemy Waffle comes around. I have no idea where that shot went there. Uh, I know I wasn't fully bloomed, but the, you know, the Waffle was quite close. And you know, I felt like that probably would have hit. But that was unfortunate it didn't. Uh, but yeah, we start to go right down in numbers here. And it gets to a point where it's literally just me and uh, Swindle trying to defend this side. I get a shot there into the type. Managing to pick up our first kill of the game, put us under 3,000 damage. But we are suddenly starting to lose. And it's now 13 versus 6. And it's literally us, me, uh, Swindle, and one other tank trying to hold off his side. And at this point, I'm kind of like, so we need to just concentrate and defend in what's in front of us. And then we can worry about behind us. Because right now, you know, there's quite a lot of tanks right here. We're under a bit of uh, pressure. So... At this point, I'm just waiting just to try and cover. Swindle's going to go back up to the ridge, and we're going to see if we can create like two different angles so that if they come into uh, Swindle, then we're trying to get some shots in. Because I think now we're down to you know five versus 11. Um, so the enemy team's got double our numbers right now, and it's not looking ideal for us. Uh, but we're going to see what we can do. I'm just putting myself into positions, I say, so I can try and cover. Um, swindle this ruthless comes around we get the kill there for, you know he doesn't actually have many hit points which is kind of the theme of this game i end up you know killing a lot of tanks who just have no hit points left so we pick up the kills we're now down to four versus ten it is literally just me and Sai here defending uh he's hold down in his valor but i've now got a problem with this budget putting shots into us uh trying to just you know get to position so i can maybe shoot him but i'm awkward situation here because i've got lots of Tanks either side. I'm just trying to just make myself as difficult as I can to shoot. Enemy uh, pest here in the Vanguard comes behind. 
uh, stops the shoot side, but I'm able to slap him, picking up our third kill the game, putting us under 4,000 damage, and stopping that tank sort of um, turning uh, Swindle there in his uh, Valor. Here comes enemy Waffle. I should be able to get the finish, uh, but um, Swindle said he had the kill, so I turned to see if we can shoot this enemy um, you know, FV05 there. Uh, we do eat a bit of damage off of him, but thankfully we get the kill. Um, unfortunately for us, he didn't have a lot of hit points you know, either. So it was another kill for tanks that just didn't have that many hit points. But now uh, Swindle has an enemy Turan in front of him. And I'm just waiting because I want to need to hit this Turan. So I put him on a one shot. And unfortunately, I completely fluffed my shot. And at this point, I'm thinking I'll throw the game there. Because now, that in theory, that Turan can just go over and kill uh, Swindle. Thankfully, he's not doing that, uh, and maybe I'll get another opportunity to shoot this Turan. The Turan's actually getting shot by Swindle there. He does have a, another TD sort of somewhat covering him, I believe. Probably stopping that Turan coming over, thankfully. But, yeah, if I would have hit that shot, you know, this Turan would have already been dead. But we have evened up the scores back to a four versus five. That... Um, I think this enemy, uh, oh no, Trent doesn't get taken out. Viper gets taken out. But I am going to try and turn and see if we can get any shots here into this 50B, who is also one shot with literally no hit points left. But we do get the shot in, picking up the kill. Uh, the Trent has come round for uh, Swindle. Swindle is on a one shot, but the Trent has fired. So Swindle should actually have the kill. And he does get the kill. Uh, and that puts us into back into this game in a four versus three. There's an enemy Zumba here, which is actually dumping his clip. Uh, and I'm pretty sure at this point, he's actually dumped his clip the way he's backing right off here. So that's going to give me the confidence to push in and just kill this Pajetto, which was shooting us earlier. Again, unfortunately for us, <laughs> we're going to pick up the kill here. But the tank, again, had absolutely no hit points. I think if all these tanks had a bit, yeah, a bit more hit points, I would have had a really big damaging game here. But it's just... You know, the way the cookie crumbled this time, the, the tanks just didn't have that much hit points. But we're on to six kills, and we've sort of turned this game around from what was looking to be a loss to a potential win. And at this point, I'm thinking this Zumba is running, and I want to catch him before he escapes. Now, it looks like I'm going to get the opportunity. I do pick up a shot. This time, he did have a bit of hit points, and we pick up our um, Devastator medal there. It's one enemy Mantis. Um... And at this point, I have no idea where this enemy Mantis is. He's got ping that he's on the right-hand side. So we're going to sort of head over and see if we can try and find him. I'm going to find it difficult to outspot this Mantis. But the Mantis gets spotted and he actually kills Swindle. But he does when he's fired a shot, so he shouldn't be able to kill me here. Uh, but he gets taken out anyway, thankfully, by a TD. And that brings us an end to the first replay. And like I say, we finished that game with seven kills, picking up the Devastator model. Wasn't the biggest game I've ever had in a tank, but it was just quite a good one in the terms of, you know, we were outnumbered. It was against the sea odds. Um, and yeah, that's it for replay number one. But coming up next is a replay in the Waffle E100. Okay then, so here we are for the final replay. This time we are in the Waffle E100 and our Batoon mate Panda is also in the Waffle E100. So we've got a filthy Waffle Batoon here. We are on the Fisherman's Bay. There is one enemy artillery in the game and two enemy light tanks. Now, we kind of had a decision to make whether was we going to go and play in the town, which we probably could also do in the Waffle, or was we going to go up into this sort of A12 corner and see if we can get any shots from here. And we decided that this is where we was going to play. Um, and I think in the end it probably worked out for the best. We do have quite a few tanks already going to the town. But we don't really have many tanks this side which can stop the enemy team sort of taking a bit of map control away from us if they did make the push. So initially we're going to go and play this position and just see if we can get any shots in. So I'm going to try and get behind this house which is just something where I can try and keep myself protected from the artillery if I need to. Protected from enemy shots if I do get spotted. And then I can also reverse out from this position. And anything which gets detected uh, by our friendly tanks down the 1-2 line, we should be able to poke up and get a few shots in uh, and cover them. So just initially here, we'll just wait and see if we can get any shots. Just because this light tank is crossing the, you know, in the middle, if we're able to take out the enemy light tank, then that's going to bode well for us later on in the game. But an enemy heavy tank looks like he's going to make a mistake here. He's popped in front of two waffle hit wonders. Unfortunately, I've missed one of my shots. But we do get with our next two shots, the two penetration shots, and pick up the kill. Get an unfortunate bounce there off the enemy Jag Tiger, and now we're on for this reload. And since the buff to this tank, you know, the reload doesn't feel that long, um, considering 
you know your clip potential on this gun is you know just 560 alpha it's just like you just you do 2,000 damages in the blink of an eye, really. Uh, you know, it's just, it's so, it's so, so deadly. You can just clip out tanks. Um, and yeah, with that interclip reload, it's just fantastic. So it doesn't take long just to completely destroy a tank. Enemy medium tank gets spotted. Already put him on half health. Um, should be a one shot to us now, but he gets back into cover. Get one into the Jag Tiger for good measure. And then this medium tank looks like he's going to poke and give us an opportunity. And we do pick up the kill. Managed to pen those four shots there. Um, you know, putting us onto the mark with 2,000 damage now and two kills. Uh, and it's still a pretty even game right now. Like I said, a lot of our team are fighting in the town area. Um, and we're just kind of just concentrated on making sure we don't lose this side right now. Um, and also it just keeps us a little bit protected from that enemy artillery piece. So we almost finished our reload and it would look like we could potentially get shots at this enemy chieftain. Uh, I'd like to be reloaded already. We do get a, uh, well we try and get one shot there and unfortunately it bounces. This is a little bit awkward for us because if this chieftain gets you know, right underneath our ridge or to these rocks, he's basically going to detect us and spot us, which means any of the tank destroyers if they move further enough forward, so they're actually in the render range, then they're going to be able to shoot us. Right now, I'm not sure the enemy tank destroyers are close enough to be able to see us, even if we do get detected. Um, but I want to, you know, this chieftain's awkward. This chieftain's full health and in a really frustrating position for us. So, as you can see, me and Pan are both trying to see if we can finish him off quickly. We do eat a shot, but we get one shot into his cupola there. Um, yeah, first bit of damage we've lost and like I say if this chieftain stays alive we're probably going to lose more damage in this situation uh, we just want to try and finish him off but there's no easy shots for us the only shots we've got are going for his cupola we do manage to land another one which puts him onto a two shot to us uh, now I'm getting a bit greedy because I'm detected someone's looking at me but like I say I just want to get rid of this tank unfortunately we don't manage to get that shot in um, and this is I think we just wait a little bit too long which is a bit silly and we eat a shot which puts us onto 700 hit points um, and we've got just shy of 4,000 damage but I don't really have the hit points to be greedy like that now and look for those shots uh, especially with the enemy artillery piece is just trying to land a shot on us so we're going to pull back a little bit but as that happens I do notice the chief can get shot I think by our artillery piece and now he's on a one shot so now it gives me more of an option to maybe just land that one shot to, to finish him off. But I want to be a little bit careful. But it looks like our friendly heavy tank, our mill 2, is actually starting to look for shots into this tank. So we are going to wait to see if he does get taken out. He does get taken out by our mill 2 and that gives us the freedom now. We can shoot this grill. He then gets double tapped between me and uh, Panda and that puts us over the 4,000 damage. Still a very, very close game though at this point. And we're not in the sort of tanks just to pop straight across in the open because we've lost a town. Uh, well, it appears we've almost lost a town. So that means they're probably going to come out of the town and go towards our cap. So I'm going to get myself into a nice position that I'm ready to cover them uh, and and see if, you know, if we, like I say, it doesn't take long. You know, we can just clip out a tank, especially when we've got two waffles working together. You know, there's pretty much, if a tank gets caught out in the open, then they're, they're dead. So... Uh, and they're going to die very, very quickly if they make a mistake. So we're just going to wait and just be patient because I'd like to say I've only got 700 hit points. The enemy do still have the, uh, their artillery in the game. So if we get spotted in, a, uh, in the open, we're going to probably die. Uh, enemy will get spotted here. And this is how quickly you just destroy tanks straight away. It was already half health anyway, but then we just take out that mill too in the blink of an eye. Thankfully, we don't get spotted. Then an enemy type starts crossing the type 4. We should be able to kill this tank if he keeps pushing. But he has actually played, you know, he's realised that, you know, people are looking at him and he's, he's kept himself in cover now. But now we're in a free versus free. There is an enemy artillery, there's an enemy tank destroying enemy team and then this Type 4. So we know where one of the tanks are. Uh, enemy artillery at this point, I'm not 100% sure where they are. I'm just trying to wait and see if that Type 4 gets spotted. But then the enemy tank destroyer gets spotted in the middle. If we can take this tank out, then that means we're going to be able to... You know, more likely to be able to cross and kill that type 4 because we're not going to get shot on the side uh, and we probably won't get detected until it's too late for the type 4 so we really would like to try and kill this enemy tank destroyer if possible uh, we tried to go for a cheeky blind shot but it didn't work um, and at this point i'm kind of thinking i might try and leave panda 
in position and I might try and work my way around the side to finish this tank off, but I'm just waiting before to see if I can get a cheeky kill. Uh, I don't manage to pick up that shot, but now we are on uh, reload uh, and the artillery piece has just shot there at Panda. Thankfully for me, the Emil 2 gets, you know, takes out that tank destroyer. It now leaves us in a situation where it's us versus the artillery and the Type 4. So I've kind of said to uh, Panda at the moment, look, you, you know, you've got no hit points left. He's on like 100 hit points. So he really can't risk making that cross and, you know, and then just getting, if he does get detected by the Type, he's only got to sort of derp him and he's going to die. Uh, so I said, look, I'm going to go round, see if we can find this enemy artillery. Uh, if I can take out the artillery piece and I can push into the town and I'll, I'll either be able to kill the type, type or I'll detect the type and then you'll be able to shoot him and at that point if you just stay there you can hold the type. So that's that's pretty much my uh, plan at the moment. Like, so with the equipment you don't have that many options with the waffle so I basically run uh, optics because I want as much vision as I can. But then I just put the powertrain and traction system on just mainly because you're limited in options anyway. Um, but it does actually make the tank not feel that bad, to be fair. You don't feel that unmobile with this. I mean, you're not the quickest, obviously, but uh, it's not like playing the Jag E100 uh, previously. You've got a lot more mobility than that. So at this point, I'm thinking, you know, the artillery is either going to be uh, in their base and I'm going to be able to do, pick them up, or if they're smart, they've probably moved into the town uh, and tried to play with the Type 4. Because this is a close game, you know, it's three versus two, so we do have the advantage. But, you know, it is, cl it is still close, you know, anything could happen. You know, Panda's on a one-shot, I could get shot, I could get shotgun by the artillery, I could get killed by the type in one shot still. Uh, and our meal is also, you know, very, very low in the hit points as well. So right now I'm thinking, in my back of my mind, I'm thinking the artillery has gone into the town. But I don't want to just leave that for yeah i just want to make sure i spot behind their base just in and the off chance is there um rather than me driving across and then find out the hard way that the artillery piece hasn't gone into the town the front police hasn't gone into the town um so i'm going to make sure that first the mill two is moving forward and i think at this point the mill two is probably might be able to spot that enemy type and then panda will probably pick up the kill on the type um i think at the moment i've got yeah, I've got three kills. I think Panda's already on five kills, I think. So if we both of us survive, and we're going to get the uh, Brother of Arm medal. So it would be nice if we can try and finish that on. The artillery piece is not in this position in the base. So they've clearly gone into town. He does get spotted by the uh, friendly uh, Mill 2 there coming around. Um, the Mill 2, like I say, is pretty low on health as well. So the shotgun, the, the artillery piece could potentially shotgun uh, the Mill 2. Uh, but if he does, and he fires, then I'm going to be able to pick up the kill. So at this point, I'm just hoping, I'm hoping I'm going to get there as quick as I can, because I really want to pick up the kill. And it, now I'm thinking I'm going to be able to get the kill, because the artillery piece is coming around. So I stop, I wait, and I should be able to pick him before he even turns and gets a chance to shoot. He does come around, and we do just manage to pick up that kill, confirming the fourth kill. Put us on to just shy of 6,000. Enemy type gets detected. Hoping we're going to be able to land a, sh a shot here to see if we can pick up a, a kill and another thousand damage. Uh, but also, there's a good chance that you know, if he comes forward, Panda's going to be able to uh, shoot him anyway. Uh, but yeah, we'll just see who manages to get there and pick up the damage first. So we're going around there as fast as we can. Uh, can we manage to get the shot onto the enemy type? He's not quite presented himself a shot. Um, you know, can we get there? It's either going to be me or Panda. We're both racing for it, both want to get the extra bit of damage just to boost the game. Uh, now I'm thinking as the type actually drowned himself, but you know, thankfully he hasn't. He's just tried his best, but he's just shot, and that means he's you know, I haven't got a shot, and uh, Panda's gonna be able to finish him off. So that is it for the video. So, yeah, like I said, they're not the biggest of games, it's just something a little bit um, different, I think. But me and Panda both have a good can combined. Yeah, Panda gets over 7,000 damage. I get 6,000 damage, 4 kills with Brother Arms. So between us, we've done the majority of damage for our team. So, uh, like I say, not the biggest game I've had by a long shot in the Waffle with 100, but just a fun game uh, you know, when you're in number 2 with 2 Waffle with 100s. So that is it for the video. Thank you so much for your support, and as always, happy tanking.
Oh, get... 